In today's video, we're gonna go over some ways to create your own STEM kits or your STEM boxes at home for your kids. And of course, we're gonna do this in a way that's a very affordable and budget friendly. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. A while back, I was at the Dollar Tree and I did a video and I asked you guys if you wanted to see some ideas for stem bins because there was a lot of stuff at the Dollar Tree that you could use for stem bins. And you said, yes, show me the stem bins, the stem boxes, the stem kits, show me everything. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some ideas on creating your own stem boxes for your kids. And of course, in a really affordable and budget friendly way. If you are new to the Purple Alphabet, I would love it if you were to subscribe to our family. We do educational activities for kids and ideas and inspirations to learn through play plus some hauls and shop with me's and giveaways and if you are new make sure you say hi down below in the comments i would love to hear from you and if you aren't new tell me if you are already using stem bins or not i want to know i have a lot to cover in this video quite a bit so hold on to your hats and let's get straight to it if you are going to be starting your own stem boxes or stem bins you first need supplies my first suggestion for supplies is to actually look around your house much of what makes up a stem box or a stem bin, you can find the materials already there in your cabinets and your drawers. Things like cotton balls, cotton swabs, toilet paper rolls that are empty, Dixie cups, playing cards, index cards, coffee filters, toothpicks, tape measure, straws, rubber bands, even Legos and building blocks, toys that you have would make great items to instantly create a stem box. If you wanted to supplement and go out and find a couple of new things to put in your stem box, you can find some really great things at the dollar store or even at the Dollar Tree. Some things to look for there are clothing pins. Also check out the tools and hardware section depending on the level of stem box you are making. Pipe cleaners and popsicle sticks from the craft section are great as well as paper and construction paper, string, and then other objects like marbles. It just kind of depends on what kind of stem box you plan to make, but chances are you'll be able to find the supplies right at the Dollar Store. Also at the Dollar Store, you can find some of the things in the teaching section and in the toy section like I showed you in my shop with me. I found a whole bunch of manipulatives that would be great for stem bins as well. And lots of ideas can be found. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. Then once you've gathered all your supplies, you're going to need a couple of tools to kind of help. This is going to depend on the type of box you're going to create, which I'll get to in just a minute. But some of the tools you might want to kind of gather or pull together for your stem box might include a tray to do the work on, a ruler, some scissors, and some glue. You might also want some tape, you know, scotch tape, mask tape kind of depending timer or stopwatch if you're going to do an activity that involves measuring a length of time crayons and pencils so basically writing utensils or things to decorate with and then a notebook or a notepad or just some paper so that you can record things or write things down such as your plans and lastly you're probably going to want to decide how you're going to store all of these items together there are a lot of boxes out there that you can use those clear kind of shoe box type styles you might want a divided box depending on how many supplies you have I like this one from Ikea that's really affordable and has nice big spaces in it. You can find little toolboxes. I know the Dollar Tree has one of those toolboxes that has kind of like a little divided tray in it. You can even use one of those little plastic drawers where you pull out each drawer and each drawer has a different supply in it. And you can divide all of your supplies by the type. Or you can just gather everything and put them all together in one large bin. So in my opinion, you can do these stem boxes in three different ways. The first of those ways is through a tea tinker tray. I showed you these before and I've called them invitations to play. Basically, I supplied my kids with a couple of different materials which they can take and on their own create whatever they want. This tray will have various items that they can build with, but it's really meant for exploration. They get to guide themselves so it's child-led on what they want to create or what they want to do with the items. It really encourages free play and free thinking and there's not much guidance from the parent other than offering those supplies. And what's cool is that they can basically make whatever they want. So tinker tray is a a great option and I highly encourage you to try it if you haven't already. It can be a lot of fun, especially gathering the supplies and setting it up in a way that's very inviting. The next way to do a stem box is to create task cards. I want to show you a couple of ideas for task cards in just a second, but basically it is a task to be completed repetitively over and over. So you take one concept, you give them the challenge of meeting that concept. Let's say it's STEM activity for measurement and you provide them various different variables 
on what they can measure and then they have to decide which item is longer. It's a repetitive item and it's put onto these cards. I wanna show you some examples. Here's an example of a free printable for some task cards. I'm gonna put the free printable links down below in the description box so that you can go right to them and print them out. And then I would recommend printing them out in color, cutting them out and laminating them to make them last. So this is from a package of many, many task cards. And this is a very simplistic task card that I wanted to show you. So this is four different ones. You'd cut them apart and make them into cards. And this one is for weight. So you could weigh these different items with a scale to find out which one weighs more and you can record your answer. So the task cards are meant to be a very simplistic way to do a STEM activity and repetitive. I actually have a whole video on weight and measurement. I'm gonna put that down below in the description box too so you can get some ideas if you like weight and measurement and then I'll try to remember to link it up here in the corner so you can go directly to it. I have a favorite scale that I like to use as well so you can do some weight measurement activities. Although this one isn't in a card form, it has the same concept as a basic task card and that you are doing one concept which is float or sink. This would be a great opportunity to set up a STEM station where you have a little container filled with water and then all of the items so that they can try to see if they float or sink and then they can record the answer on here. I'll link this one for you too. This one is really pretty in color. I, I did it in black and white so I could save on my printer ink but this one is all about Legos. So we are working on one concept and that's what you can build with Legos. I'm going to talk about STEM building challenges in just a second so it's kind of a hybrid of those but we're still using one concept and that's with the building materials of the Legos. So you would cut these all apart and there's several different challenges on here. Uh, let's build an animal, let's build a new invention, let's build a bridge. And you can work through all of these as far as building goes to complete these STEM challenges. And all you need to do is supply the Legos. Really like this one. And then I also have one that is about building two in task cards. How do I get inside the tower? How can we build a wall that Humpty Dumpty can sit on? And so these are all based on fairy tales. You would cut them apart. You can laminate them too and you can have one task that they're working on and you can supply some materials like building blocks to see if they can accomplish these challenges. Task cards can be a very, very simple, basic STEM activity, but you can also build upon them to make them more challenging, going on into what I would refer to as building challenges. So I have a few task cards that are building challenge related that are a little bit more difficult than really basic concepts. I'm gonna show you a couple of those examples in just a second with some free printables. But in a building challenge, it's gonna be a more complex thought. You're gonna be presented a challenge or a problem. You're gonna be presented materials or select your own materials. Materials, and then you're gonna set forth a plan, how you're going to accomplish this challenge or meet this goal or to solve this problem. You're going to experiment or build to solve the problem. You're gonna revise your plan according to what went wrong, and then you're going to redo it again and record your results. Let me show you a couple of ideas that you can do for building challenges. Moving on to complex building STEM challenges, we have the criteria that's a little bit more complex. This one is based on the three little pigs. So we have kind of the setup here and what you need to have to complete the STEM challenge. Um, this is our planning sheet. My big bad house would be made out of, and then you'd fill it in. And I choose these materials because they are both. So we'll have some reasoning here of why we're using those materials. And this is a diagram. So we're gonna draw it out before we build it. And then we have a list here of the items you're gonna use, so you paper, blocks, all the things you're gonna use here. So we have a list of items. And then we have our recording sheet. So I think my house will or will not withstand the big bad blow dryer aka wolf in the story this is what my house will look like after the big bad blow dryer we're making a prediction here so this is a very comprehensive building stem challenge based upon the big bad wolf here we have a non-story based challenge so there's a couple different activities in this packet this is based upon building with pencils so the objective here is to balance a pencil vertically on a craft stick and then it gives us a list of materials very simple things like i mentioned our number two pencils clothes pins, pipe cleaners, craft stick, and tape. And it gives you some instructions here on how to do it as far as the procedure goes. And then afterwards, there's some questions here that you can go over. Either they can write it or you can just do some talking with your kids. So now we're analyzing all the actions that we took and the steps we took and discussing how we can make it better. Then it goes on to the pencil tower STEM challenge. Build a tower using only pencils. And then we have a couple of rules that you must follow. And then we have a sheet here that asks what rules we need to remember and then write 
writing and sketching a plan. So now we're planning out our STEM challenge. And then this one, we're using a ruler to determine the measure of your challenge. And then it kind of has you analyze what went right or what went wrong. Like, so we're doing a lot of analysis on this one. And then of course you can make your own STEM challenges. So I found some blank ones for you to try out. You write the challenge here, your research, and you can write your ideas on how you're gonna complete the challenge here. And then you design and create, you have your outcome or what happened, and then you evaluate. So this is your traditional STEM building challenge criteria. And it's just a blank sheet. So you could do this with any STEM challenges, which there's tons of them out there. And then here's another simplistic one. So this one is probably for your younger child, what I did, what happened, and what I learned. So it's the same thing as this, just in a more simple fashion. There's a lot of flexibility in doing STEM boxes. The basically the sky's the limit. So let your imagination go. Build upon some of these ideas that I've shown you. Check out the free printables down below. There's a lot that you can do. And of course, adapt it to the age of your child and the skill level of your child and work up from there. Let me know if you tried STEM boxes or STEM kits in your home, what you use, what kind of challenges you like to do. I'd love to hear all of your suggestions and all of your advice, as well as everybody who reads the comments too. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.